Hello everyone and you're welcome to today's tutorial and I still remain your most wealthy shoe making made easy tutor. Odurole Mojibola. Today I'm going to be showing us how to position this kind of a sander. Actually, I'm creating this for a man. If you're watching this channel for the first time, all we do is make shoe making easy. And I need you to know that our weekend class still continues. We're going to be actually starting another one in January. If you have not registered, please register. It's totally free, but with a commitment fee of $3. So let me know in the comment section if you would like to join us in January. So I need you to do me a favor. Just sit back, get a cup of drink, a cup of popcorn, and I'm going to be right back. So basically for the um, placement and the positioning, last scene of this particular design that you have on the screen, I'm actually going to be teaching us how you can place it. I believe by now, of course, you should be able to draw all of this. I think I've already taught us how to create this. And if um, you're not sure you know how, you can just let me know. I think I can give us some little guide on that. But basically, I just want to show you, okay, now I can create patterns. How do I position them? How do I learn how to position? So that's what I'm going to be showing us in the A. I think I've taught on how to draw this pattern on my YouTube channel. So I will say that you should catch up on that. So all of these, there's nothing special here. This is just straight, straight. I just reduce at the center, then let it go to meet this one. It's just like, okay, this is three and a half. I made this middle just three. So I just took from that three points, I went to meet the edge, I went to meet the edge. So that's why I have this particular um, shape. For this, you can see it also stays the same thing. This is about um, six and a half, and this is about four and a half. So this is cough and cough, just to cough it up, and that is what I have right there. So let's start with this particular toe part. Now, this is how this is going to be here. And um, the one that looks like a T, don't forget that because of the fact that, because this side to this side is shorter than from here to here, you can use that to depict where the with the right and left of this particular kind of design. So I made sure that the right part has longer side A and this is quite short, you know, and you can see what I have right here. So this is what I'm going to be having. And this, this will be going right in here, no, the wider part will be going right in and this is going to be coming out. So all of this you have to do with care. This has to be at the center, you understand? Make sure this centralizes. It's quite important. So I think our, one of our first assignments is to ensure that this stays right A. So with what I have here, I'm going to be using my rivet to hold this down. Now you can decide to stitch it down fine, but for me, I'm going to be using my rivet. So the first assignment I have is to first of all position this you know i position it to make sure that it's at the center because that's very important make sure this is at the center line of the shoe last and make sure that this is also positioned at that same center line so you just have to be very careful and make sure that it's aligned properly so you can see what i have right here if it's not staying properly make sure you adjust it it's important so i'm going to pick right here right here and then right here i don't want the i don't want it to be too much so that's the reason i don't want to have too much of a um, rivet so that's the reason i'm actually using just this particular side so you can see what i have right here so the next thing is i'm going to be returning it there if you have like um a needle you can decide to use it to go actually punch i mean to position it down so that you can pick the same points but you can do it this way too first of all pick the first one which is this ensure that this is enough here is also enough on the other side then you can i can still use my pen you can use marker as well the shoe marker so do this and do this. I think I can still see them. I have one here. I have another one here. So I'm going to be using 
my river to try to hold them down now don't forget that i've not positioned it on the second one so i just want to use this to hold it down you understand so so this one will hold this down so i'm not going to be i'm not going to be pressing it yet just for holding down because i will transfer all of those position onto my pattern so that subsequently when i want to create this i can easily pick it up and create so with this i have already fixed that side so let's go this way now so it means i can have something right under here i'm going to place it down here and this is going to be going this way so that's how the design looks like so this is going right inside so now the next thing is okay this is quite wide how do i know where to punch from what i have right here you can see where it is you can see where this is now exactly at that same point where, where you have those things exactly at that same point make sure you align your shoe last make sure it stand is actually properly positioned so when you do that then you come here see where it ends here you can see where it ends make sure you don't use exactly that point open it up go right inside make sure that from this edge to this to where you are punching where you are actually marking is about 1.2 centimeter from here to the 1.2 literally we need about one centimeter because by the time i grind the edges i might have grinded about 0.2 centimeter that's why i'm suggesting 1.2 inside so i'm going to be picking this side I'm going to be picking here you can see what I just pick right now I'm going to come to this side as well you can see where it hands here too I will not pick exactly that point I'll go inwards a little bit and make sure I pick about 1.2 there as well now let me remove it for us to see you can see what I have right here here and here now considering these two points when you want to now you have to cut because i'm actually inserting it into it i'm going to cut it through this way i just want to use this to mark it for us to see so i'm going to be cutting like this i'm sure you can see so before i cut i'm going to punch first i love to always punch because i don't want it to continue to open you can see that so now that I've done this, I'm going to open it out. I'm going to be using my. If you are using an or if you intend to wet all of the side, you can. Of course, you don't need all of this again. You just go ahead and then um, and then position it since you are going to be wet wetting it because you can actually weld all of the edges all around if you don't know what it means to weld please let me know as well please i'm begging let me know so i'm like i said i'm going to move gently i'm sure you can see my movement so i'm going to go twice because it is thick but on the same shape so turn this way to finish it up Now you can see what we have so we are going to insert this into that side and see now it's better if it is not um, enough than for you to have excess and um, excess opening so that's why I said you should use under so let me just try and put for us to see Of course, it may not enter easily. 
but then let's see how far it can go before it perfectly size it so let's say this is how far it can go to size it so this is how far it can go to size it now let's insert this okay you can see our rivet is already removing it's because i did not i didn't hold it down So, you can see what I have. If it's going to stop there, it means it's going to end up being like this. So, I can still move it out if I want to. If I think it's quite, you know, so much, I can move it in. Then this will continue this way. So, don't forget to make this one sit properly. Sit properly on it. So, this is going to be, of course, like this. I'm sure you can see what I have. So I'm going to be using if as long as you see that it's okay here. Now, how do you know if it's okay at this point? In, 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 of course, one of the most important thing is that by the time they put their foot inside this particular one, it should cover the smallest toe. So you can decide to use your, your fingers. I think I've taught us this severally. Make sure that you use your finger and see where... It's stopping. From what I have right here, it will definitely cover the smallest toe. I think I've taught us this one severally. So, it's going to actually cover it. So, that is one of the most important things right here. That is what will determine whether it's okay at that point or it's not okay. So, I have this right here. So, I can decide to just... Um, I will hold it down just to pick it up. Since I did not use the shoe last to draw, if I had created a three-dimensional pattern, I won't be having issues with this because I might have actually, along the line while I am trying to draw, I might have used um, an outer sole, I mean an inner sole, you know, like a template to locate, okay, where this is going, where this is going, you understand? But because I didn't do that, definitely... I have to go through all of this process and even if you use a three-dimensional pattern as well you will still definitely have to understand where to position it on the shoulder so this is a simple trick with which simple way in which you can actually do this is by coupling them together one after the other to be able to know where each will be positioned so the next thing is going to be this i'm going to be introducing this at this point so it means i have to first of all look i have to first of all position these ones first so after positioning, of course, when I place it like that and mark it, I will punch, punch this, then place this all over as usual. I told you anytime you are placing, don't place down, don't place like this, place it on top. It's better to work patiently and do a neat job than to always be in a hurry, whereas ending up with a very bad job. Please. Don't be too much in a hurry to do to go to finish a job that all you do is just um rush, 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 and here you go. So that is that. I will just open like I opened this particular side. So I've decided to quickly duplicate this on this, which is my pattern. I'm also duplicated this, which is for the front. So I can easily, you know, press it down now because I find that I keep removing and removing and I don't want this to stop my, the progress of this particular thing. So please, let's just go ahead. Let me quickly revert it down. So you can see what I already have here. So this one, I'm going to put it here. Initially, I had plans that I was going to actually place two here, but I'm thinking it will be looking too much. So I'm going to end up just using one. You understand? I'm just going to have one right here. So, so this is how we're going to position this particular one. Then the next thing is also, we're also going to, I'm going to pick it this way. You can decide to do it whichever way. 
I try as much as possible to try to locate where the center is. Then away from the center, I'm going to punch away from the center at this particular point. Then under here, I'm going to come a, a bit to the edge. I want it to look like, you know, slant, like A. So I'm just going to punch those sides as well. So that's that. If you are not sure, you can see it anymore. Please cover it up. Come back again and try to pick. So personally, I told you I want it to be a little bit away from the center. So... I'm going to punch right there, punch right there. So now from this particular one, you can use your utility knife to open it, but I'm going to be using my seam ripper. This is my seam ripper. It comes in different sizes. I'm just going to, for me, it's faster. And from here too. But you need to do it with care. So let's see how this look like when I insert it. Of course, this side may not be enough because it's wider. But when it gets to the center, it will size it. I'm sure you can see what I have right there. Please ensure it's not too wide. So many times I see us do create openings such as this and it's so wide and then it looks so bad. Please, let's work on it. Let's work on it. So we're going to do this gently. So with this, you can see what we have right here. I'm sure you can see this. So this is going to be going this way. Wow. I'm loving what I'm saying. Yes. So you can see this and you can see this. So this is going to be here and this is going to be here. So I'm definitely going to pick those points as well again. You can remove it gently. Now, if you look at it, you find out that this is a bit out and this is in. It's so fine like that. They are not supposed to literally be at the same point. They can be at the same point, but if your position is not at the same point, it's fine. Just ensure this outer part, you can see this is the outer part, came, comes downwards than this one. So, I think it's fine this way. I'm still going to pick my 1.2 as usual. I'm going to pick my 1.2 as usual. So, what do I do next? Punch again. So we are going to place now, like we place the others, let it cover it. Then pick it right here. If you need to measure yours, please measure to know where to punch. Please measure. It's not a crime. I've been working with this so I know what 1.2 should be. So I'm going to do the same thing here. Open it with the utility knife and insert that as well. So as you can see what I have right here. This is actually standing firm and beautiful. So the last part is going to be the back pattern. Now, if you look at the shoelace I'm using, it's quite longer than the footwear already. So it means that I have to be very careful on this part. Or else, you will find out that the sander will be having some part outside. I mean, some part of this place is going to be outside. Of course, I don't want that. So, But let me just show you the little trick I'm going to be using to achieve this. So from what I have here... This is the way this is where it's li literally going to be stopping. This is where it will stop because you can use this back pattern to actually know where to position your your footwear. So I think I'm going to get a smaller shoe last, probably like size 40, and use it to position this bag just for you to see what I'm saying. This one definitely will push it out. If this is what you have and you still want to position it, what you need to do is this by the time you place it this way. Instead of actually punching exactly where this top, you will move it forward. So that by the time you are through, this little, you know, part coming out will not be there. So you can see what I have 
right here so another thing you can do is this you can decide to just use your your hand no attachment if you look at this you find out that it's almost at the same point with the with the with the sole i don't know if you can see what i'm showing you it will be at the same point if i had done the other way i mean i use the shoe last it will be outside can you see i really want us to see this it will be outside i want to show us what i'm trying to say so your it's not supposed to be like this outside you can see that it's outside like this touching it you see it's outside but it meant to literally be a hand on your soul like this this is how it's supposed to be positioned on your soul or oh, you know i'm still going to oh, grind the edges it can be like this as well so i think this is fine you can actually use your eye to do that as well and you can get a smaller shoe last and just place so this is size 40 you can see that it's going inside and then there's this space so what i will just do is i will push it i will push the size 40 to this place making sure it's almost the same length then use it to position my back pattern of course if you are not careful it keeps coming forward but you definitely have to adjust it backward and make sure it's staying at the point you want it to stay you can see where it is now so you use that to now position your back pattern so you can see what i have from here So from this, you can definitely position it. Just do it. Just do it gently. All those things, there's no reason to rush. There's no reason to be in a hurry. If you get one of the legs, then you are good to go for the other. So this I'm holding. This comes here and this comes here. So it means this is where it's going to be positioned. As far as this last is concerned and as far as this particular size is concerned. So hold it make sure because that's very important make sure that this inner part this is left leg the inner part does not come down i mean lower than this outer part of the left leg like i said i'm holding the left leg so i don't know if you can imagine what i'm trying to explain so even from what i have here of course this is lower this one is towards the heel part more than this particular one so you just need those just one one point punch them place the the other part as well so you see that don't forget that it's going to be placed this way so you're going to cover it as usual just do the usual and then you're good to go for the back so now that i've inserted this the next thing is to now go ahead with the strap you can see what I have right here. So my strap, of course, can literally enter in between this particular one. And I can decide to add an attachment here where my um, strap can easily pass. So it does not matter. You can open it up. It enters there and then um, it will be perfectly okay. So you can see what I have right here. I'm going to be using my rivet to just hold this as well. If you want to stitch yours, feel free. You can stitch. I'm just going to be using just one rivet here. Just one. So that one too, you can actually pick up like this. And then position and then punch. You can hold it like this to punch. So with this, you can actually pick up your back pattern. And then position it as in pick the placement so for this if it's going to be passing it then i will be having to punch this punch this you understand and it will pass through so you can see what it looks like i'm just going to remove all of this definitely and then place it on this side 